TikTok has taken down a total of 1,126 videos that were deemed provocative and extreme after the 15th general election, says the Communications and Digital Minister. Fahmi Fadzil said that through a meeting held with TikTok recently, the videos were blocked automatically using its artificial intelligence AI system. Bagi tarikh 12 ke 18 November, uh, iaitu pra hari mengundi, uh, jumlah video yang telah dikekang secara otomatik berjumlah 857 video uh, dalam TikTok. Ya. Pada hari mengundi sahaja pada 19 November, sebanyak 130 video telah dikekang secara otomatik dan pasca pilihan raya pada 20 November hingga 26 November sebanyak 1,126 video. Fahmi said his ministry had started a process to strengthen the cooperation between the government and social media platforms. He added that social media operators not only need to follow the law, but must also be responsive to requests made by the authorities in regards to provocative content. Saya telah meminta uh, Datuk Seri KSU dan juga uh, pihak kementerian untuk meneliti undang-undang sedia ada dan menilai apakah langkah-langkah yang perlu kita lakukan untuk pastikan Bukan hanya kerjasama itu lebih erat, tapi undang-undang juga uh, lebih tegas dan kita ingin lihat kurang ya, pengurangan kepada jumlah konten yang bersifat provokatif, terutama yang menyentuh tiga R, ya, royalty, race, religion, raja-raja, ya, uh, isu agama dan juga isu perkawaman. The ministry held a meeting with TikTok on Monday over concerns about the circulation of misinformation and extremist content on the platform. I also feel that um, uh, we have to do more to make sure that uh, this ecosystem is much better regulated in future. So we are looking at current existing laws to see how we can strengthen them without compromising on a commitment to freedom of speech. When asked about allegations that some political parties paid content creators to disseminate their political narratives on TikTok, Fahmi said the ministry would also look into the matter and laws pertaining to it.